We're back in Building 7 again in the Spacesuit Lab with Mark Chipichu again. And he's going to tell us, we talked a little bit last time about the Orlon suit. He's going to tell us a little bit now about how it differs from the uh, EMU, the extravehicular mobility unit that we use on U.S. spacewalks. So um, we've got the EMU here next to us. Maybe you can point out a few of the features. Sure. Um, I mentioned that on the Orlon, uh, how you ingress through a, through a door in the mm -hmm. back of the suit. So that's one of the main differences between the two suits, how you how you put the suit on, how you don it. The EMU is made more like uh, clothing, basically. You have all these components that you have to put on. Um, the hard upper torso is, is, is attached in the station so the crew can ingress it, but for each crew member, you have to add their own um, arms, uh, their own lower torso, so the crew ingresses through the hard upper torso and then they have station to pull the, the, the one, pants, if you will, the lower torso assembly on and then lock that into place. They have to put the helmet on as well because that's not attached like on the Orlon. And then lastly, they put on the gloves. Okay, so and you were showing us on the Orlon suit how they have to kind of cinch the, to the different sizes. We have different size arms and legs and, and hard upper body torsos <laughs> and things like that, right? Each crew member, the, the EMU is, is, is tailored to them specifically, so we launch specific uh, components for them to, to, to match their sizing. So you can have really long arms but really short legs if you want. That's right. Okay. Um, and then we've seen people get into the suits um, in, on the station in microgravity. I'm sure it's probably even a little easier than it is here, but you have to kind of crawl up into it and... Correct. Mm -hmm. The uh, the back the backpack the plis uh, is is locked in place in this in the station. The crew will have already donned the uh, lower torso, and then they have to sort of wheel their way inside the hard upper torso through the through the arms. Mm -hmm. And it's not an easy procedure. And once they're in there, they lock the the lower torso in place, and then the helmet. Okay. And how how long does it take us to get ready for a six long? Um, we're about around four hours around the same time. Okay. Um, um, the other other difference to point out is, as you see, the display and control module here basically has all the components um, put together that you see on the on the Orlon is split up in four. You have the this control electrical control panel, the, the gauge, the pneumohydraulic, and the uh, interface for the umbilical. It's four separate areas, whereas on the EMU, it's all together on the display and control module. And I always think it's interesting how the, the letters and numbers are backwards on this suit. Correct, because the crew member can only see using the wrist mirrors that they put on the, the gloves, so they have to so put everything in the like image. They're like around right? here? They're installed on the, on the Yeah, and the then gloves. they can hold it in front of their chest to, to see. That's the only way they can see, basically, okay. on their chest. And, and it, another main difference to point out is the, uh, the pressure inside this, each suit. Uh, the EMU operates at 4.3 psi. Mm -hmm. The Orlon we're up is a little higher, 5.8 psi. Mm -hmm. So the EMU is a little uh, less strenuous for the crew members to work in, okay. more flexible. All right, and I know, I mean, um, our suit was designed when we were starting the shuttle program, right? And I'm sure, I don't know, how, how old is the Orlon? The Orlon has uh, first version back in the uh, uh, the Voskhod and, uh, and when they had the salute, uh, mm -hmm. their space station. So it's been uh, in from the late 60s. So yeah, we're doing really pretty amazing things with some old technology. That's correct. Uh, we, we worked on trying to achieve the same goal uh, independently, continents apart, uh, but we get, came to the same goal, just different avenues. Mm -hmm. but, in, in the end, they're all doing the same thing. Yeah. And I know uh, here at NASA, we're working on, on building some new designs for spacesuits, and we should get some, some cool stuff um, to see pretty soon. And hopefully we can collaborate with our, with our international partners and we'll come up with a, with a good final product. So. Absolutely. Well, thank you again, Mark. We really appreciate you talking with well, us. Well, thank you very much.